Hi there. Welcome. Let's learn about behavior of structural members in this video. Behavior of structural members can be calibrated using three axes, three orthogonal axes. These three axes are perpendicular to each other. Behavior such as bending moment, shear force, deflection and so on. Bending moment is happens about an axis. Shear forces or axial forces are happens along the axis. Let's talk about bending moment by one by one axis by one axis. Let's look at first major axis. Major axis about which a member bends should have a greater resistance against bending moment because it is having a depth greater than the breadth. The depth directly implies to the moment of inertia. In that formula, BD cube by 12. Depth is cubic cubic times. Hence, it will give more moment of inertia. Thus, it gives more, more resistance to the bending. Whereas, a member bends about a minor axis in the horizontal direction that is called lateral bending it has a less resistance against the bending compared to the major bending because the moment of inertia is db cube by 12 and that breadth is less compared to the depth the third axis is longitudinal axis which is running along the length of the member about which if any member bends that is torsion these three bending moments about an axis can be compared with a helicopter to understand the concept better let's assume a helicopter having a three wings one is at the front one is at the top one is at the tail let's first look at the tail tail wing which is rotating about an axis that axis is similar to the major axis because it's also running perpendicular to the height of the helicopter similarly a beam bends about a uh, major axis it forms a circle similar to this fan in the vertical plane and the fan or wing at the top which is rotating in horizontal plane about an axis which is similar to the minor axis is passing perpendicular to the breadth of the section it can be easily compared with the minor axis of the member the third one is the fan which is rotating about an axis which is passing through the length of the helicopter which is nothing but the longitudinal axis in this way we can remember this concept thank you